guys, Gina here. Well, that was a pretty fun episode of Kami Ga Kill episode 9. Did you see mine's boobs? So the episode starts off by mentioning that there's only two boys left in Night Raid. Not quite sure how big or like how important that is because boys and girls are pretty much on the same playing field at this point, but there are only two boys left. So, Nagenda, the lady boss bitch head chick, she decides to go and find some new members. Sort of like Esdeath is doing in the meantime. Esdeath's crew, aka the special police force, aka Jaegers, they finally meet up and we get to meet all six of them, which they all seem like very interesting and vibrant characters. We got Wave, who is a country boy slash hick. I appreciate your style, Wave. But um, yeah, he thinks everyone is weird, which he isn't completely wrong about that. Let's see, you got Run, who is the blondie who uh, has super awesome reflexes. You got Seryu and Koro, which are just like, we know they're not normal. She's fucking crazy and her dog's like, can grow and count. And there's Balls, I believe his name is Balls, the shy guy who was fucking hilarious. Like Wave was just like, I'm really happy you're a kind guy. And he was just like, I'm not a kind guy. But he can also cook. He can cook. Oh my god, he can cook. And then there's Dr. Stylish, who is into boys, which there's nothing wrong with that, but Wave really, that makes Wave pretty darn uncomfortable. But Wave just is talking shit about his entire crew, just how fucking weird they are. But Wave, you're kind of weird too. You listen to your mom, your mom made you bring a bag of fish. How does that make you feel? And then we get a flashback of Nagenda and Ez Death serving together as generals in the army. They were called for reinforcements after 120,000 men were beat by 20,000 tribes people from the southwest. Well, that's pretty embarrassing, so obviously they had to send in the big guns. We get to see that Nagendo is really bothered by Ez Death. She, she was going to carry out the orders, you know, make examples of these tribes people and whatnot, but like she she just wasn't enjoying like Ez Death and her people like being creepy and prolonging like the torture process. But Ez Death like feeds on that shit, so Ez Death do you. Ah uh, yes, and then our lovely Ez Death holds a tournament to find true love. Because, you know, that's how you should find true love. But it's going to be hard to find someone who's perfect for Ez Death because she's so fucking picky. Did you hear her list of requirements? Um, he, he must be younger so I can boss him around. Oh, Ez Death, you're so aggressive. So she thinks everyone's mad soft until Tatsumi fights the bull guy. We get to see here that Tatsumi's training is really starting to pay off. He mentions that he's super calm right before the fight starts. He just beat like three of Ezidus people. He's feeling on top of the world right now. He's feeling pretty confident. So obviously Tatsumi beats this bull guy. Small and mighty Tatsumi. And of course, of course, as death has to fall in love with him because Tatsumi is just the motherfucking man. Instead of asking for like his hand in marriage or something like that, as death just chains him. <laughs> as death makes Tatsumi her bitch. Fuck. Fudge sickles. But at least Akame is smart enough not to rush in and save Tatsumi because that would just create a whole bunch of problems, especially why Nagenda is gone. And all of this happens why the boss is gone. Overall, I'd give this episode an 8 out of 10. We got to learn a little bit more about the lady bosses and their history together. We got to see Ezdes homies and they seem pretty darn funny. And I have a feeling that Tatsumi and Wave will have a run-in in the future because they just seem too similar not to. Like, they're both from the countryside, and they both kind of are a little taken back by their groups um, initially coming into them. And I even <laughs> I even said that Wave is actually pretty hot, but uh, he pretty much just looks just like Tatsumi. So, does that mean I'm going to eventually see the hottest boys fight? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe for more anime reviews and gameplay in my face. And of course, go follow me on Twitter. You can find the links down below in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!